So people often ask me, so what is primary health care? And for me, the simple answer is it's health for all. Everybody has the right of access to health education and health promotion and health services when they need them. My name is Elena Weingart. I'm a quadriplegic. That means I can't use my arms and legs. I was a very, at a very young age. I was nine years old when I climbed over a school fence and my pants stuck and I fall on my head. Then that is the cause of me being in a wheelchair. I like to make a difference in other people's life. There's many people out there who's going through a challenge physically and able to people. And I feel that by my story and by my abilities, I can help them if they can see what I achieve in a wheelchair and they have my they full physical strength. And maybe I can motivate them and become a better person in life. If you're going to be in the rehabilitation field, it's not our job to meet a guy like Randall and give him some sister device and leave him. Our job is to elevate his status, to be employed, to be in a relationship. That's true rehabilitation. Is it? Come inside. So it's about helping create those, create those opportunities for him. Where Vic is now, I would like to become. I would like to have my own transport. I'm not married, <laughs> but I'd um, like to have my own place. I'd like to have people that assist me. So if you remember I spoke about the ICF, the International Classification of Functioning, they recognise disability is a, is a combination of your health condition and your environment. So Randall and I have a similar health condition but his environment is much less accessible for him than it is for me. I have accessible transport, I have my own carers. So my, we have the same disability, but what I can do, the opportunities I have are so much more. So we're gonna be here, we're gonna help, if you can help assist him in the next couple of months, you're giving some assistance, just in terms of what he needs. Um, I would like to do an art class at the library, but I must still need permission. Okay. But you know, I need some Donations for them. The students help me by assisting me with planning. They help me to get there, set up my paintings, and it's nice to always have somebody assist you. So it's, it's, it plays a big part in my life. So I'm very grateful for the use of the students. He's quite an amazing guy because he doesn't let his circumstances bring him down. He doesn't worry about himself, he wants to uplift others. Even if you are in a wheelchair, uh, people uh, have this enormous potential to live in a positive way. Um, and so I think it's a matter of uh, us as health workers actually getting with that program and understanding where people are at and uh, uh, removing the obstacles to, to them living to their full potential. And the color red. I was interviewed on, on Cape Town, and then there was a, a lecturer at Falsby College who um, was listening to the to my interview. And then I found me, and he said I must come in. Before my accident, I always wanted to be a fashion designing, but that time they had art day at at, at um, Falsby College, and they said like we will put you into art class. Then I said, but I can't use my hands. And she says, just, just come. She saw me how to draw with my mouth, how to paint. And the first year, 2004, at Falsby College, I was nominated student of the year. That's my name, Randall. So I would like you to do the same, but not with your hands, but with your mouth. You can The hardest part for me was to paint was the chai because every time I had to make a straight line but then I couldn't get the paintbrush to get the other line at the bottom. It was very hard but it was very fun as well. It was hard but I managed to write my name and 
He also managed to write his name and it was very beautiful to see how a person can write his name with his mouth and not with his hands. Well done guys. If people can see that Randall can teach, he's a fantastic teacher and you'll engage the kids. And then when they see that, it helps to change, change the perceptions of what people with disabilities can do instead of what they can't do. I'm trying to start a Young Ambassador program. The area that, that I live in is very violent. And um, there is not a lot of opportunities here. And there's many um, young children, they drop out and then don't achieve anything. They just, the choices that they make is, is, is sad. If we look at a lot of the challenges that we, that we face, um, a lot of the challenges we face are equity related challenges. So uh, um, uh, we look at, at the health status in people that, that come from the past society that earn the least and we look at the health status of people that come from society, past society that earn a lot more and we look at the mortality figures between them and we see the hugely difference. So equity is a big part and, and inequity is, is part of our history in, 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 in this country. Well, at the moment I have 16 kids yeah. already. But, Fantastic. Um, the Bachelor program is about developing um, in our community because all the all these kids coming from different back, back, different backgrounds, and I want to help them see that no matter the environment we live in, they still open their still dreams for them to, to achieve their goals. Most of you guys say it was difficult, but it was fun. Now my life sometimes is difficult, but it's most of the time fun. But my message for you is for you guys. Anything, anything you want to be in life, you must work hard. Don't be afraid of failure. To be successful in life, you can fail, but you mustn't, um, mustn't stop trying. I would like to, once a week, that they come um, to me, and then we'll, maybe one week we'll have a, a topic that they pick, maybe of violence, sex, um, um, education, what is their goals in life and what are their dreams? So it's about helping create those, create those opportunities for him to reach those dreams and to get that same level where he can look after himself and employ his own care, his own employee, and have his own art studio. I think that's, that's one thing we should, we should help him go for. You mustn't um, give up on your dreams. You want to dream something, follow it, but most of the time, act on your dreams. Then you can achieve anything in life.